Wisconsin rallies against Illinois, but Wisconsin does not win in volleyball. They lose to Nebraska and the girls are live at the Devaney Center. Team do it for other people. 44, uh, 44 attackers. Yeah, it was not pretty <laughs> at all, and we knew that. And we just kind of had to figure out, like, okay, like, we're not playing our best volleyball across the board, but we're still going to figure out a way to win. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, we would just talked about having each other's backs no matter what happens. And I don't really know how we did it with 44 attack errors, but we did. So definitely need to work on that, and it was ugly. And But at the end of the day, we got the win, and yeah. that's all that we care about is bringing the win back to Nebraska Volleyball's program. A lot of that was from Wisconsin's block. Mm -hmm. They had 14 blocks mm -hmm. in the second set alone. Mm -hmm. um, how did you guys um, try to get out of that? I think just swinging high hands, but also I think it was more mental than physical yeah. at the end of the day. Getting stuffed blocked that many times is a very big mental obstacle. And so we went to the locker room and we were like, look, it's 0-0 zero, zero right now in between the second and third set, 0-0. Zero, zero. Like, it doesn't matter what just happened in that set. We just have to go out there, keep swinging. We knew that we couldn't just start roll shotting and tipping balls because they would just transition them and get kills. So. We just kind of had to make a few adjustments, swing really high and keep swinging hard and find ways to get kills. I mean, they're a great team. They're a huge physical team and they're going to get blocks, but we just had to find ways to get around them. What does it say about your squad's resiliency that you guys bounced back from that second set and bounced back from a Wisconsin match point and set forward and put it? I mean, we've talked about it all year. Like, this team is very hardy and very resilient and there's never a doubt in any of our heads that we're going to lose. Even, even like after that second set, there was never a doubt that we were going to lose. We knew that we were going to find a way to come back. And I think having 44 errors and finding a way to win just speaks how our team is. We're going to find a way even in the ugly. And that's what we've been talking about a lot this year is winning in the ugly no matter what. And so we always find a way. And I think that's one of our biggest strengths is we're just going to have each other's backs and figure out a way to get around it. What's it like playing in that atmosphere in there tonight? I got it. Uh, I mean, we know how Nebraska fans are, and that crowd proved it. I know that they said, like, the attendance record um, when we were playing, but I think we all knew Husker Nation is, like, a great fan base, and that's exactly why. And they're a big part of why we won. Like, their energy and everything that they bring to our games and our support is more than, like, we can't even explain how much it means to us. So mm -hmm. they're just as much a part of that as we are, and they continue to just be there for us and support us no matter what. To do it without Lindsay, what does that say about the team and what was she, she providing in terms of support on the sidelines? We have so many people that can step up when we need to, and that's exactly what Allie did. And Lindsay's a huge part of our team. She's a very big vocal leader, and we all have to step up in that aspect just to help pick up that slack. But Allie did an amazing job, and that's exactly what we practice for. Game changers are what we need, and Allie did that. Harper, um, I think when we were told the story on the radio about when your, your class visited for a Wisconsin mm -hmm. match that they lost, that you guys told Cook when you get here, you thought Nebraska wasn't going to lose matches like that. No. Do you remember that? I do. We have, um, we actually talked about it today. The freshmen and Jalen have a group chat, and in one of the text threads from like a year ago when we lost to Wisconsin, he was like, that's not happening again. And we all, all were like, yeah, we got it. It's not. So I think just to prove that that happened, and we can, we didn't even play our best, and we still pulled out a win. So um, I think that mentality that the freshmen have, and I know that Merritt's a big part of that just because we all look to her as a leader. And, Having her there for us, but like the freshmen, we know we need to. We have big roles on this team, and we have to prove that. So, just having that mentality and going out there every day, just swinging. What's it like to have a player like Harper on your side of the net? And that the game hasn't gone pretty, but to be able to step up in those moments and deliver the kills when the team needs it. Yeah, it's huge. And we talked in the fourth set, and I was just kind of like, "Look, what do you need? Like, you're in this position for a reason, and you're one heck of a player. And if you weren't, you wouldn't be out here right now." And so. I know that she has a ton of belief in herself, and sometimes I have to remind her a little bit because she's really hard on herself, and that's what makes her so good. But, I mean, it's huge. I think all of our freshmen stepped up at very big moments um, during that match, and it's really cool to have Harper, obviously, but also all of them be able to step in big moments. It's, it's very special, but they all just have a ton of confidence in themselves, and they know what they bring to the game, and they know at the end of the day what they can do, and they do it. So, lots of Feel like we can hear the roars from the Devaney Center here at 40th and Vine. You would think, you would think so. And you put it perfectly earlier, pandemonium there. I was getting chills just watching the highlights back. And then not only the girls celebrating on the court, but all the fans. We know that it was a really hot ticket. The ticket sales were about 10 times face value and everybody, safe to say, 
got their money's worth. Nebraska wins in five over top-ranked Wisconsin. All right.